one and all, welcome to Scene Through Glass and welcome to Dutton's Garage in Melbourne. Now if there was one place in Australia that all of you were telling me I had to visit, it was here and thank God you told me because my good lord, this place is nuts. I mean they have a coffee shop inside. Inside the dealership is a coffee shop. I'm in heaven. When you see some of the cars lurking around on the showroom floor, I think you'll be blown away. But it's not really just about the cars, it's about the whole feeling, the atmosphere, the architecture, the design. It's just an amazing place to be and a great place for car people to hang out. Anyway, enough chat. Come check this place out. Finally, finally! Drive the World's only been going two weeks, but yes, this is the first Challenge Shadali of this year's adventure, and it's so, I mean, it's just always good to see one of these. If you're a new viewer to the channel, this is my favorite car of all time, and I will always absolutely freak out whenever I see one. But it's getting quite annoying now, because I feel like lots of people are kind of clocking onto the fact that this is really one of the greatest Ferraris ever made. I keep seeing posts, people being like, oh, I really want to challenge Stradale. No, you don't. No, leave them alone, <laughs> because the more and more people that want them means the values are going and I don't need that. I need them to stay down. So yeah, no one no one should get a chance to die. They're crap. They break, they're useless, they're not just the best car in the entire world. This is a very interesting car and a highly appreciating car. The 911 Sport Classic. I think one of these just sold at auction in America for close to seven hundred thousand dollars. Fundamentally, it's a 911 with a body kit. Uh, they don't really do too much to it apart from put these awesome Fuchs style wheels on it put the big old ducktail spoiler on the back, you get this kind of custom interior, but apart from being limited and having this kind of iconic look, well that's about it. And people are paying hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds and dollars over list, which is a bit nuts, but really cool to see because you really don't see many of them. I wish I could remember how many were made. Is there a plaque? It was a stupidly low number. Hold on a sec. Porsche are usually quite good with their plaques. If we look hard enough, he says, oh, maybe it's the other side. Um, dum 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 dum. Can I zoom in anywhere? No. Okay, this is a mega fail. Well, they they didn't build them, that many of them. <laughs> There's my knowledge for you. This is what I love about this place. It's just the little tiny details right here. You're looking at like a little moped, which was Jacques Villeneuve's moped, Formula One world champion, 1997, to get around the track. You always see it in Formula One. Actually, you see it less and less now. But back in the day, Formula One drivers used to always use mopeds to get around the circuit. And this, I am assuming, was his Williams branded moped off the back of the 1997 World Championship. I mean, how nuts is that? It's so cool, just little things like this which you just find dotted around the place, unreal. Way to validate your Porsche credibility, have some pictures of Jerry Seinfeld visiting the dealership on the walls before you enter the kind of Porsche section. That is nuts. If you don't know, Jerry Seinfeld, one of the world's leading Porsche collectors, obviously visited Dutton's back in the day. And here we go, the Porsche room. Loads of incredible cars hanging around in here. So this has caught my eye straight away, mainly because of that wooden steering wheel. Look at that, that is awesome. Um, oh, and an original GT2 in that corner, but yeah, very, very cool room. I love these gold badges. I've been half tempted to do some gold badging on my car when it gets back to Europe. Um, but yeah, look at this GT2. Absolutely nuts. 996, obviously. Manual. Must still be a hand for this thing. But this is your entry room, and look at that up on the wall. Someone, some Aston aficionado, tell me what that is. DBR1 could it be? all pulled together that's super cool piece of artwork and i can hear some uh, i can hear something moving outside let's go and have a little let's go and have a little look see if we can spy anything nope we can't okay never mind <laughs>
potentially my favourite part about this entire place is the coffee shop, which you now find me sitting in with the lads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined by Nick and Henry, who actually I recorded a podcast with the other day, Driver and the Kid. Um, so that's coming soon. I'll put links below to their channel so you can listen to that. And also Michael here from Dutton's. Now, I want to do sit down with all you guys because Nick was actually one of the main people promoting this place and saying I had to come and check it out but you're all kind of part of the car scene here obviously Michael you work at Dustin's but you also have some YouTube stuff yeah, and of course. Yeah. Uh, do a lot of social media so yeah. for me having somewhere like this is the dream <laughs> like, like in terms of like a local hangout place because you've got the coffee shop yeah, you can come course. and just chill and chat cars and be around some of the best probably mm -hmm. the best place to get a coffee in Melbourne for a lot of people okay, for Hands down. I don't want to suck up but that was like the most delicious <laughs> Coffee. Yeah. I, mean, I can see I'm like, I'm like raving. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm just had a flat white I just had a flat white, so I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, but yeah, like, like so for, for you guys as yeah. non-workers here, how do you find, do you come down here, do you have meetings here, like, you know, yeah. when did you first discover it? Um, probably about three years ago. I, I think I, I walked past uh, the front of the place and saw for the very first time a Zonda in, in the window. Cash. And of course, yeah. When I, when I saw the Zonda, I just thought, you can't go in there. You're not allowed to go in there. Like, there must be I someone... I thought the same thing before private. I even worked here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was it's like, this paid entry, this is yeah. a museum. But it looks no. super exclusive yeah. from the outside, and there's yeah. not like an obvious door as well. Mm, no. mm. So it took a couple of months, but then once you know you came inside and looked around, I just have to come back. Because there's, every few days, there's just the most amazing stock. It moves around. Um, we had another LFA come in, and a couple of TDFs there. And so for car people, especially people into supercars, it just doesn't get better than this for Melbourne. The first time did you pretend to be like a really rich buyer, like like get like a Gucci jacket and come on like, hey, hi, I'm just looking at the TDS. Yeah. <laughs> but you yeah. would think that, wouldn't you, when you first came in, you would think that you kind of have to be someone of note. Mm. I mean, you've got pictures of Jerry Seinfeld, like yeah, in a Porsche room. Yeah, yeah. enough <laughs> pressure for anyone who's like, oh, I'm thinking of buying a 911 Carrera. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Henry, obviously, you take a lot of photographs all around Melbourne. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. does it feel like a welcoming place for you as well? Yeah, you it's, like a, it's like a one spot for all car sports, pretty okay. much. So I. Obviously I'm a car sporter and I go to school just down the road and every day like as I start off as a car sporter I go on the train past this place and I'd be like holy sh**. <laughs> I just remember seeing like Aventadors and I was like, oh my god. So one day I came in here and every car spotter was in here and I was like, what the hell is this place? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I found heaven. Yeah. It's so like it's pretty you... much, I grew up here just taking okay. photos of the cars coming in and out. Yeah, of course. Much. And how about you, Michael? How, how long have you been working here? What's your kind of role? And is it still like the dream place to walk into every morning? Yeah, of course. Like this is probably my favourite office that I think I could ever dream of. Naturally. To be honest, like yeah, of course. Like it doesn't really get much better than this. And we also like to call it Melbourne's best kept secret because I mean, you see the front of the window obviously there, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. There's a couple of great cars in there. And then you walk into the front room, and obviously it just keeps going. It and then just we have four keeps levels going. of it. Which That's the thing which, the which we haven't part. even explored yet, is that no. there are further levels. A lot of them are very secret, so I'm being very nice to my <laughs> I'm telling them how delicious this coffee is, <laughs> just to see whether I can take you guys with me when we explore the further Fantastic. floors. But yeah, it's the kind of place that I feel like all of us, if we one day built either just an office for ourselves oh, or a, a showroom, this is what we would build. Right? Yeah, it's insanity. This is like the it's, ultimate man cave. It's the perfect mm, yeah. place, and all the little things hanging on the walls in the show, Cases and yeah, really really that's what is. really brings it together for this place as well. Compared to a you know a normal dealership, you walk in and there's the white tiles and then everyone's in suits and stuff. Here, yeah. it's a much more friendly, homey environment because you've got nice wooden floorboards, you have nice lighting and everything, and then plus you have all these ridiculous cars that just start blending into each other as one big club. And it's just like the most ideal place to come in for a coffee and it's sit like, down. It's like Australia's, it's like Australia's best man cave. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You just feel relaxed coming in here. But that's exactly that's it. The, it's just a nice place, place to hang out. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to struggle to get rid of me today? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to go back up and have another coffee because yeah. they're just that good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, anyway, thank you for sitting down and having a chat with me. No worries. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Fantastic. Look at the spec on this turbo. McDonald's Ahoy, yellow with a red leather interior and then some yellow details in there as well. I mean, you have got to be a brave man or woman to want to drive that thing. <laughs> Absolutely nuts, there you go. 512 M, back of that Speciale, you might be able to see, you've got some yellow flaps down on the diffuser. 
uh, moving towards the back. What I love is just casually chilling back here, 812 super fast. Like, oh yeah, I'll just put it at the back, don't worry guys. I mean, that thing is mad. Really nice, subtle spec there. Diablo in a stunning dark blue, really clean looking car, super cool. Um, AMGs, we've got the, the GTR here, and then an SLS rose to there. And that probably takes us through a quick look. What is this? A this isn't a T, is it? No, this must be a GTS or just an S. It's just an S, but it's still looking lovely. Really nice spec here on this 911. If you are ever in Melbourne, heck, if you are ever in Australia, find time to come down to this place. The fact that you can come and have a coffee and chill and a sandwich and just hang out with car people is the best part, but also obviously the cars they have in stock today, let alone what they might have in the future, is just breathtaking. This really is one of the really top, top car dealerships and car spaces, I think, in the world. The value of the cars in this room must just, I mean, I. I'm probably going to try and add it up, but yeah, unbelievable. Thank you to all of those who recommended I come down. Thank you massively to Dutton's for being just so friendly and welcoming and creating a space like this for car guys like me and Henry and Nick and Michael that we were chatting to earlier. So give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for any more videos to come.